Hey, yo, what's good, everybody? Hope that you're having a blessed. Hey, yo, I got an issue with you, homie. Who, who are you? Oh, so you think that you are big and bad now because you're living in LA, huh? Oh, you think you're living the lifestyle? You went, you went Hollywood Hills on us now. Okay, I see it. What do you mean, wait, Hollywood? Wait, hold on. I was trying to wait. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. stop. Yo, chill, 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 bro. Right, what were you going to say? Jeez, bro, you need to chill. If you would have let me finish, I would have said that I just moved to LA last Saturday. I've been unpacking everything. I had to get everything set up. I had to get the Wi-Fi set up. I had to have them come out twice so I can get the internet speed faster so I can get those videos out to you guys. I've been live streaming too, by the way. Hey, live stream started at 3 p.m. almost every single day. Be there. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm, I've been out here. I've been trying to get you guys that content. And now, you know, this is my first video since being in LA. And you just gonna come in here to start jumping on me? All right, now that you explained yourself, I understand you now, homie. Hey, I was a part of those live streams and you know, I. I I have my notifications turned on, all you guys, because I see you. I have my notifications turned on because you already know I have to stay on top of all them uploads. So, you know, hey, don't be missing them uploads. All right, good. Now that you got it, you can go. Jeez, bro. All right, but let's talk about the move to LA. Let's talk about today's player. So if you guys haven't been paying attention to my past videos, the number one thing I want to change with this upcoming football season is making sure that I'm covering each position fully and carefully. Last year, I felt like I covered way too many quarterbacks, wide receivers, and running backs. And that's my bad. But this year we're changing all that. I don't care if you're the kicker all the way up to the five-star quarterback. I'm gonna make sure to try and cover each position equally this year. And the first step to doing that is actually making sure that you've covered each position. Now I have over 300 videos on this channel, which by the way, if you haven't seen all of them, you should probably go watch them. But among those 300 videos, I have yet to make a video on this one position. Is it tight end? No, I've made a video on tight end. Is it a kicker? No, I've made a video on a, a punter. No. no. What's the most forgotten position in football? The fullback. You see, the fullback hasn't been getting much love for the past decade now. However, there are still kids out there who grind each and every single day to become the best fullback in the country. And today we have found that player. So today we're here to look at the 6'2 and a half, 240 pound, three star fullback, who is also the number one fullback in the country, CT Veni Kaufusi. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that name, bro. Be sure to comment it down below the correct pronunciation because we're trying to respect everyone's names out here. Now I've never seen what the top fullback in the country is looking like, but I can only imagine that this is gonna be some pretty beastly highlights in here. So I want to see what the kids got. So let's get right into this video. Three, two, one. Psh. All right, let's see what my man CT Venny, the number one fullback in the class of 2019, is looking like. Let go. CT Venny. Again, I'm sorry for mispronouncing your name, bro. I'm I'm trying to do my best, but you know we can't always do our best. He only played four games your junior year. What happened, bro? And he's still the number one fullback? Okay. As I expected, most, most fullbacks, they are going to be running backs. It's a big boy, though. Ooh, okay, got the, got the finesse. Okay. Nice little spin move. Okay, lock him up. There you go. Hey, for he he's six two and a half two forty. Like this is a big boy, and he's moving pretty nicely. Run it! Just run it through him. Okay. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I I I need I need to show you guys this. Look at first off. Look at how much harder he would have destroyed this kid if he would actually stayed low. Cause he he was running way too high but i mean when you're 240 you, you can afford to do that all right so he goes in here right and th this dude first off he didn't really want to tackle him he, he hits him with one of those little shoulder checks where it's like ah i'm gonna i'm gonna try and hit you but really not so he, he does that and he just bounces him straight off him like get off me little boy and then he can get to his top end speed his top end speed pretty quickly yeah just get off of me As a fullback, that would be a that'd be a pretty big boy to be to be a, a fullback. He, any linebacker that came across him, he'd be able to get him out the way. Running through him, let's go. Get the trucking on him. I thought he was about to jump over him for a second. I thought I, he looked like he was setting up to jump over him. 
keep them legs turning, keep them legs turning, let's go. The only thing I can say to improve this kid's game is that he just, he needs to stay a little bit lower. Just because, I mean, I can understand a six, two and a half, like that's not an easy, it's not easy to run low, but you have to, to be able to make defenders, like see right there, like you, you stayed low. I think if number 11 wasn't there, you'd be able to keep your balance, but just staying low, like, okay, you're starting to do it when you, when you get more towards the goal line and stuff like that, but just always be running low. Cause that's how you get all your power. Get off of me. Hit him out the backfield. Oh, get that block. Dink, sit down, little boy. You know, he has, he has obviously the size and he has that explosiveness to where if you need him out of the, if you need a player out of the play and you have a, uh, a formation that has a fullback in it he would do extremely well or if you just wanted to use him as like a third down power back then he would be able to get the job done See, like right, like right there. When you when you when you run low like that, that's how you get those extra one or two yards that you need to be able to get the first downs and whatnot. That's what coaches are looking for. How how many people does it take to bring you down? And when you have two, three people hitting you at the same time, how many yards are you still able to get? There you go. Wait to immediately go and block for your quarterback. That's what I'm talking about. You know the quarterback scrambling for the ball, so all you gotta do is just clear it, clear it out for him. Quarterback can move too, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he's just a really, I mean, he's in between an undersized tight end and a true just uh, running back. Because, yeah, like six, two and a half, like that's a extremely tall running back. Okay, what do you get off me though? Way to break down. You see, like he has he has the characteristics to be a good running back, he just doesn't have that top end speed. And obviously, he's 240 pounds, like he'd have, he'd either have to slim down a ton to get to like 225 and become like an extremely elusive running back, like he's showing right now, just juking out everyone, or or he could go and just become a full time fullback get to like 250 and just be a mountain mover basically there you go wait, just get off of me look at him still fighting that's what i'm talking about i like how he can get skinny he like when when he sees someone coming up on him he could just get skinny real quick and like dodge like 80 percent of the hit just running through see like that's what I'm talking about. Just staying aggressive, staying low, and running through your running through whoever's trying to tackle you. That's how you gain those extra yards. You see, like he's still gaining he's gaining an extra yard or two with six or seven guys on him. Like, that's what I call strength. This dude got that strength. No weakness. <laughs> so obviously, CT Venny is out here going and just balling out. Obviously, it's hard to classify a fullback because like I said in the beginning of the video, most fullbacks, like the traditional, when they're going to play fullback in college, they played running back their whole career in high school. So it's kind of hard to see like, okay, well, how good are you at blocking? But He's definitely got the size to be able to be a extremely useful fullback at the next level. Find one of these triple option teams to go to and go ball out there. But what do you guys think of CT Venue? Be sure to comment it down below. All right, guys, but with that being said, hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If 
you did, be sure to leave this video a like. Yo, can we get this video to 400 likes? Because that lets me know that you guys are enjoying these videos. Also, don't forget to comment down below any other players that you guys want me to see. Because that's how I know who you guys want me to watch so we can help grow this channel. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you guys can stay on top of all the videos that I am coming out with. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so with that being said, I just want to remind you guys that almost every single day over the summer, I'm going to be live streaming. So I'm not going to be doing a live stream today, but I'm going to be doing one tomorrow where I'm covering your guys' highlights. So be there. It's going to start at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So 6 o'clock for you guys on the East Coast. And if you're somewhere in between, you got to find it out for yourself. But yeah, so I'm going to be live streaming. And so Wednesdays and Sundays, those are going to be my days where I live stream your highlights. And every other day, well, I might miss a day or two in between, but every other day i'm going to be playing fortnite so be there i'm going to be go follow me on instagram and twitter because that's where i'm going to be leaving you guys all the information when i'm actually going to be live streaming exactly so go follow me there but with that all being said hope that you guys all have a blessed rest of your day and i'll catch you guys in the next video ciao